guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, today I'm gonna uh, cover this one. Men have learned <clears throat> their games and women are furious. Now, what do I mean by this? Because men have kind of always played games a little bit in the dating world, but when if you're my age, you know, I'm Gen Xer. Um, if you were a, maybe a, a boomer, a Gen Xer, or even some of the millennials, you know, guys would go through their dating phases when they were younger. Obviously, they weren't ready to settle down. They just wanted to have a little bit of fun. But they would find a girl, a quality girl, and she would get married, and it'd probably last a decade or two until divorce. <laughs> but now, guys are seeing the writing on the wall. Men are finding themselves being put into two categories. Number one, they're desired. Women want them. Women will sleep with them. Um, women will have their fun with them without the guys making too much of a sacrifice. Why? Because, you know, they're tall, good looking, successful, whatever that makes the women go crazy for them. And the other half are invisible. And then when those invisible guys focus on themselves, maybe do well for themselves, um, start earning a decent money, maybe have a house, a decent car, and they get their lives together. Sometime in the mid thirties, all of a sudden, women start scratching and sniffing around, trying to see what they're up to. And men, previously would say, hey, you know what? She seems like a nice girl. She seems to be into me. Uh, maybe we got something here. And they'd get married, settle down, and then, like I say, get divorced 10 or 15 or 20 years later, lose half their stuff. Well, because of channels like this one and others like it, and news stories and, uh, you know, men are not stupid. They see the stories of women behaving badly. Men have learned the game. And interestingly enough, uh, the again, the game's kind of always been there, but at least during my generation, guys would get married thinking, well, she wants me at least, like she wants to be with me at least. And her body count, yeah, she's had a couple of previous boyfriends, but her body count isn't double and or triple digits. But now women are are playing a game where they're open, they're bragging, they're out there, you know, up clapping each other on the back, saying, oh, look at all these hot, hot guys I've slept with in my past and maybe I got a couple kids. And now I want to settle down. And guys are like, no, 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 no. You gave your best ways years. You gave your best years away to somebody else. Your youth, uh, when you were, maybe your body was the most perky, you know, 50 pounds ago. And now they're coming forward and they're saying, well, mm, no, I, I feel like you're, you're just, I'm just a second class citizen to you. So I have a couple stories I'm going to read. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do more of these because this is the tasty dessert that we men get when we're in our 30s and our 40s, and uh, we said, you know, I, I never really had much success in dating, or I've had a lot of success, um, but uh, I, I'm divorced or something went wrong and, and she went after my, my money or she's trying to keep my kids from me. This is the tasty, that tasty uh, karma coming back around. And that's why I read these stories so you guys get a little bit of karma, karmic justice. This is from, uh, this is archived from your tango. I'm tired of guys wanting me but not wanting to date me. Well, yes, exactly. And we've talked about this because um, guys are saying, yeah, I'll have fun with you. I'm Like I'm down for that. But you gave your best years away to somebody else or you have a high body count or you're just a horrible person and you're not bringing much to the table to the relationship other than just your body. And that is not enough for me to settle down for. I'll sleep with you, but I won't settle down for it. So this is by uh, Kate McKinnon. Over the past couple months, I've been casually dating multiple guys and sometimes at the same time. Okay, right, there's your answer. There's your answer. These guys probably know you're dating multiple guys casually. Now, I've read through this, but if a guy finds out that a woman is dating other men casually, he's going to assume that she's sleeping with them, even if she says she's not. Oh, I'm not sleeping with any other guy, any of the guys. Uh, I'm just dating around. Well, how can you focus on one guy or find out anything about one guy when you're dating multiple people? Keep that in mind. Uh, one thing that has become pretty clear to me is that all of these guys have the same thing in common. They're not so interested in dating me, but they're very interested in my body. Maybe we can chalk it up as to a crappy personality. I guess anything is possible. Or maybe it's because I'm not meeting men in the right places. Yes, it could be both. You might have a crappy personality. Guys may find out you're dating multiple people. And yeah, you're probably not meeting the guys in the right places. If it's on a dating app, you're definitely not. She says, but something else is very clear to me. I'm sick and tired of guys wanting me, wanting me, but not wanting to date me. 
It might come off as a little vain, but the truth is I am indeed meeting men who are seemingly interested in me only to disappear when they get what they want or they're tired of waiting around. Well, what do you mean when they get what they want? Well, they're, they're getting the sexy time. That's what they want and they're getting it. And they're like, wow, you really don't have anything else to offer or I don't really like you, but I, I put up with it long enough to sleep with you. Or if she says, I'm not sleeping with anyone until um, I get a long-term relationship, those guys are like, I'm, I don't need to wait around for this because I've got other options, which usually means that a woman is selecting men that are above her on the social value scale. She says, to clarify one thing, I'm not the hookup type. I've never been one to hook up with guys and call it good. It's just not something I've never done. Okay, she says she's never done it, but up here she says they disappear when they get what they want. Do you guys know of any guys that just bounce after having a couple of dinners with a woman but not sleeping with her? I, I don't know of that happening. I got to take her out on three dates and I paid for very expensive dinners and I didn't get lucky. Boy, I got exactly what I want. See, something doesn't jibe there. Like it make, that makes my radar go off just a little bit, but she says she's never done it. Well, let's take her on her word for now. She says, so maybe I should have known better than to look for love on sites usually dedicated to finding hookups like Tinder. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her? Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? What do we have for her, Johnny? But that doesn't change the fact that this still happens with guys I've met in real life and not through the dating apps. Again, she's, she's selecting men that are higher than her on the dating scale. So if she's a seven, she's dating eights, nines, and tens. And those guys say, hey, you're not giving me what I want, which is sleeping with you. And I've got lots of women that want to sleep with me. So I'm, I'm gone. Like, why? I don't need to. And the guys that say, oh, I would date you and I would hang around and I'd get to know you and I'd get in a serious relationship with you. And then we can sleep together. I'm fine with that. Those men are invisible to her. To her. Uh, she says, what honestly floors me is the lengths these guys will go to for a hookup. I've had guys hang around for months on end just for a hookup. Some of them will spend a lot of time and money on me, taking me to nice dinners, spending the weekend together, and all and just all around putting a ton of effort into this crap. Well, if she's not sleeping with them, how does she know that the guys are doing this just for a hookup? How does she know that the guys aren't doing this to date her? And to say, hey, I'm trying to impress you. Like, I, I'm looking for a serious relationship. And yes, then I would like to sleep with you. But then they find out she's dating multiple guys or that she something slips or she's not available on, an, on a night because she says she's got another date. These guys that want a serious relationship, a lot of us, myself included, if a woman says to me, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm casually dating other people, I'm done. I do, I do not compete for women. I just don't look like we either get to know each other and you put in your energy and your efforts into me or if you're if you're kind of sifting through and looking for the shiniest pebble out of the out of the pile I'm not going to stick around to where I maybe start to like you but you've decided another guy is the right one for you and you dump me it's a waste of time for men and men know this and men know this so she says hey they're spending time and money on me they're taking me to nice dinners and the weekends together and after you do that for a, a week or two with a woman and she's not acting like she wants to get physical with you, guys are out and smart guys are out. Look, I've said this, like you, you should secure a relationship and figure out what you want to do relationship wise before you get involved in the bedroom. If you're just doing the hookup thing and you tell her that and she says, me too, you guys hook up. If you say, hey, I, I'm just looking to hook up and a woman says, oh, I'd like a serious relationship, you shouldn't hook up. And, and vice versa, same thing. If the guy says, oh, I'm looking for a serious relationship, and she's like, no, nah, I'm dating four or five other guys, you bounce. But what's happening, I think, is that these guys are putting in some time and effort. They find out she's got other things going on, and they say, I'm not competing. I, I don't compete anymore. This is no way. Because I, I'm afraid, uh, and rightly so, I'm afraid that you're going to have too many other options, and you're going to sleep with one of them, and then you break up with me, or you're going to sleep with one of them and don't tell me, and then you and I sleep together, and then, you know, uh, I'm, I'm basically taking a turn on the, on the merry-go-round, and I'm not into that. She says, and when they're not getting what they want or they're not willing to go my pace, they bail, and most of the time without a trace. Yet every single one of these guys seems to know exactly what to say to hit you where it matters, and before you know it, they're roping you in. 
Well, again, you notice that she says these guys know what to say and they're, she's getting roped in. What does that mean? That means they have a lot of practice with this. That means they have a lot of time playing the hookup game. They know just the right words to say and the right. These are players. They've been around since I was 18. They've been around since the 70s. They've been around forever. These guys are players and she doesn't know how to handle players. She says, maybe I am bad at dating, correct? Or maybe they're just bad at getting hookups. Probably not. Either way, the message that they're sending to me is that I'm, I'm worth the time and effort for a hookup, but never for a relationship. Well, who started that trend? Women did. And she even stated she's doing that herself. She says, I'm worth the time and effort for a hookup, but never a relationship. Literally, let me mark this. Literally, the first sentence of this whole thing. I've been casually dating multiple guys. And sometimes at the same time, no guy, no guy worth his salt, no guy that's worth anything is going to, is going to be bothered with that. She said, so why am I good enough for you to screw around with, but not good enough for you to want to date? Because you're good enough to screw around with, but maybe you don't have the qualities a guy wants to go forward. And men are picking up on this and women are not. For some reason, you know, these channels do video after video after video after video. Ladies, we don't like the high body counts. Ladies, we want you to bring something more to the table than just your body. Ladies, you, you should secure your relationship before you start securing the bedroom. You know, and yes, there are guys that will lie just to sleep with a woman and say, oh, I'll get in a relationship with you. And those guys are lying. That's why you need to vet for red, red flags. But men come and watch these channels and they know what's going on, but women don't. And then when I do videos like this, women say, Ree, he's a horrible human. He's, he's doing videos for men and saying women are bad. No, we're just saying you're not listening to, to my advice and what men all over the world are saying, which is stop it. Stop acting, acting easy. Stop putting yourself out there to all the good looking guys and the rest of us are invisible. She says, I go into these dating experiences with honesty. So they know that I don't do hookups. I blatantly tell them that no, I'm not looking for a hookup and no hookups are not my thing. It's so surprising how many of these men think that they're the exception and not the rule. Well, you keep saying, I don't do hookups. I don't do hookups. I don't do hookups. And you say that you're, um, you go into these dating experiences with honesty. Well, if you're saying, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm dating multiple other guys. The guy's either thinking A, she doesn't know what she wants. I don't want to lose her to another dude. So I, I don't trust her. So I'm not going to get in a serious relationship or B, a lot of girls will say I'm not easy. And that is code for, please do not ask me to go to the bedroom because I don't know how to, how to say no. And that means that I'm actually easy. That's why, because women do this. I've done dating apps. I was in the dating market. Uh, I'm not very long in the dating apps. I didn't use them for very long. But I was, look, you go to a, a club or a pub and you're dancing and having fun with a girl and she says, I'm not going home with you tonight or I don't put out. 99% of the time that girl would go home with you or would put out. It's just the way it is. They say that to try to, it's kind of a crap test to see if you go, oh, and you just bounce. But if you just hang in there and, and most of the time they will and they know it. She says, it's hard not to get my hopes up. Always thinking that I've finally met someone who is different and isn't just looking to use me and then toss me like a disposable camera. Oh, you mean like you dating multiple guys at once? That makes men thinking that they're just being used. They put on good shows and oftentimes they're flaking. Just takes me by surprise and catches me off guard. Well, maybe they're, maybe they're dating multiple women just like you're dating multiple men and they find one that they like better or that, that, that will put out whatever. And, but again, there's, there's no part of this and I'm not going to read down through the rest because you kind of get it. But you know, she says I'm more than my body. I'm more than my, my pretty eyes and nice hair. I'm intelligent. I'm kind. I'm strong. I'm hilarious. I like adventures. I'm compassionate, independent, and I love to laugh. Great. But you're also dating multiple men and any guy worth his salt says, you know what? It's a gamble. If she's dating three or four or five other guys, she's going to go with the best guy. Maybe I don't feel like I'm the best guy. Or maybe she's lying to me and she is sleeping with these other guys. I don't want a girl that I make her my girlfriend and only later find out she was sleeping with some of these guys. So I'm not interested. But it's not men that are doing this. I mean, yes, men are doing it to her, but she's her own worst enemy. 
because she's she's not coming forward and making wise decisions. And then she's surprised why. Why won't guys settle down with me after I tell them that I'm dating multiple men? I got another story here, and this is from, um, uh, I'm, I, I forget which part of Reddit I found this on, but it says, let me zoom this. Oop, that is awful big zoom in. Let me pull that back just a little bit. She says, 21 female here. So she's young. She's barely old enough to get a drink. So long story short, short, about a year ago, I met a guy, 23 years old. We got to know each other. And two weeks later, we were officially in a relationship. That relationship only lasted three months because we argued too much. And eventually he told me he lost feelings for me and we broke up. We went no contact for about two months. And then he texted me again in the middle of the summer. We talked as friends and he never mentioned getting back together or that relationship we had. We met up again and hung out and then we kept talking, flirting and met up again. In other words, she started hooking up with him. So they were dating, they broke up. He started flirting and talking to her again and obviously they hook up. Since last August, we've been meeting up every now and then just to hook up. I still had hopes of getting back together but I was starting to feel just used by him. Now, did she say, are we dating? Are we gonna be dating? Let's date. If you're gonna sleep with me, we gotta be dating. Did she say that? No. So yeah, of course he's gonna use her because he hangs out with her and has dinner and she lets him sleep with him and so she does, or he does. And then he's like, that was easy. And then he moves on. Around October, I stopped talking to him, but we reconnected again in November. So she lasted 30 days. We hooked up again in that month, but he didn't talk to me at all afterwards. Okay, that's where it's time to move on, right? Uh, a month after that, I decided to send him a text saying, hey, what's up? So she reinitiated the contact. He didn't respond to that. I finally had enough, and so I deleted him from all my social media, never wanting to hear from him again. Two weeks ago, he texted me to my number saying, hey, and asking how I've been. I answered him, even though I know I shouldn't have. But we had a good, friendly conversation. He apologized for his past behavior. He seemed really upset for acting that way, and he was more flirty with me than before, and he was telling me cute things that he hadn't told me since we were dating. Yes, he's playing you. It's, he's called being a player. He said he was thinking of me and wanted to see me. Of course he did because he had full huevos and he wanted to get some. He said he was thinking of me, he wanted to see me. I initially declined, but I wondered what if he wants to rekindle things. So did she ask him? No. Did she talk to him about it? No. What'd she do? So I met up with him a few days ago and we ended up hooking up again. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Of course he did. She says, we've still been texting, but he takes forever to reply and I just can't help but feel like he used me again. Yeah, he used you again, trust me. I'm tired of holding on to hope that we might get back together when it's obvious it won't happen. Should I just ghost him? After all, I still haven't deleted on all my social media accounts, but if I ghost him, what if he sends me another text soon? What if I should say if he wants to meet up with me? She doesn't even know how to cut him off. Why? Because she's really into him. And he, he broke up with her for, or they broke up for whatever reason. But she says about a year ago, okay? So she's been hooking up with this guy. She's been hanging out with him, hooking up with him. And here we are, this is a, a recent post. So here we are a year later and she's still getting messages from this guy. Now we guys know that this is obviously a guy that she thinks is really hot, that he's really attractive. They dated for three months, they broke it off, but every time he reaches out, she sleeps with him. She's out of the dating market. She's not dating anybody else, but what happens is that this girl will either A, she goes back out into the dating world, maybe she finds a boyfriend, and then she ghosts that boyfriend or cheats on that boyfriend or breaks up with that boyfriend because this dude reaches back out and she thinks it's gonna go somewhere. That nice guy or that guy that maybe she was in a relationship he gets burned because she went back to the bad boy. So he's out. Or she's off the market. She's 21. She's off the market for a year. And this guy just keeps using her over and over and over again. And I can't blame him. I mean, if, if she's going to say yes to his advances, women are the gatekeepers. You know, men walk around with a key and they try to stick it in every keyhole they can. Or at least they're allowed to. Women are supposed to say, no, 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 you can't put it in the key or you can't put the key in the keyhole until we set some ground rules. That's how it used to be, but not anymore. Now she's like literally holding her, her lock out for him saying, please stick your key in it, just put it in. 
And and again, what happens now is this guy, he's not going to, why would he date anybody seriously? Why would he settle and have a girlfriend when he may have two, three, four, five other women, 10 other women that he does this to? He wins. He's not going to settle down. And in the meantime, she's getting burnt out on men. She starts hating men. She starts not respecting men. She gets afraid of men. She doesn't trust men. Now she's ruined for every other guy out there. And in the meantime, there's tons of guys out there that would be a great boyfriend to her, but they're invisible to her or she's not available to them because she's pining for this one guy. And men see this now. So this guy says, I'm not going to settle down. I can play. And the guys that are invisible say, well, she'll probably come to find me when she's 30 or 35 and she's not having dating luck anymore. And I'm going to be the guy that is supposed to take care of her and her kids and settle down for the rest of my life. And men are like, nah, I'm onto the game. And women are starting to get really frustrated and really angry about it. But they only have themselves to blame. And that's the thing that I think people need to remember. Uh, guys, I've got 390 supporters to go to meet my goal over on uh, betterbachelor.locals.com. It's 14 cents a day. Please consider going over there to support me. Um, and that's where I'm going to do the dating profiles of the day, either there or over on Rumble. So join me over there if, uh, if you will, because YouTube doesn't let me do them here anymore. Thank you.